Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today we will guide you on how to assign particular permissions to MS SQL Server Database User from SQL Server Management Studio. In this video tutorial, we will see how to log in into your MS SQL Server through SQL Server Management Studio. Second one is how to assign particular permissions to MS SQL Server Database User from SQL Server Management Studio. Before we begin the tutorial have a quick look at our contact details for your hosting requirements. You can visit our website at www.accuwebhosting.com. You can raise a chat from the chat option available on our website. You can also contact us on this number. You can send us an email at sales at accuwebhosting.com. Thanks you. Let's begin the tutorial. First we will see how to log in into your MS SQL Server through SQL Server Management Studio. For that, you have to log in into your Windows Server with Administrator User. Here we have used Windows Server 2012 as a demo. Click on the Windows button located on the status bar. After then click on the search option. Type SQL Server Management Studio in the search field. Once you type in it, you will see SQL Server Management Studio option. Please be informed that here we have used SQL Server Management Studio 17 as an example. Click on it to open SQL Server Management Studio. It may take a few minutes to open it. In the Server Type field, select Database Engine from the drop-down list. In the Server Name field, enter the IP address of your MS SQL Server, coma port number. In the Authentication field, select SQL Server Authentication from the drop-down list. In the Login field, type SA. In the Password field, enter the password of the SA user. You can collect the password of the SA user from your client area. Click on the connect button to log in in your SQL Server database. Congratulations! You are logged into your MS SQL Server database. Let's see how to assign particular permissions to MS SQL Server database user from SQL Server Management Studio. Go to the Object Explorer section and select the server name. After then expand the databases and select the database on which you want to assign a permission. Here we have selected Database AccuTest as a demo. Expand the database. After then expand the Tables option and select the table residing in it on which you want to assign the required permissions to the database user. Here we have selected demo underscore table 1 as an example. Right click on the table and select properties option and click on it. Once you click on it, table properties window will be opened. Click on the permissions option. After then click on the search button. Once you click on it, one window will be opened. Click on the object types button. Check the user's option, if it is unchecked and click on the OK button. After then click on the browser button. Select the database user to whom you want to assign a particular permission and click on the OK button. Here we have selected database user as demo underscore user. Once again click on the OK button from select users or roles dialog box. From here you can assign appropriate permissions to the user. Here we have given insert and delete permission to the database user as an example. Once you assign the permission, click on the OK button to save it. That's it. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We seen. 
How to log in into your MS SQL Server through SQL Server Management Studio. Second one is how to assign particular permissions to MS SQL Server Database User from SQL Server Management Studio. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.